Mushroom. Alright, we do the hollow belt now. Up over the bluff. Over the trip point. Into the hidden cold. Right over a small pool, a drop stick, cold. Down through the drop stick. Down through the drop stick. Into the altar lit cold. Picking up a lit torch. Continuing down into the narrow. Destroying the stick through. Up over the bluff, evading the thorns. Up over the second bluff, evading more thorns. Down into the drop through stick cold. Destroying sticks, collecting spirit light. Up, 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 back up to bluff top. Up onto the pallet pendulum. Down to the base, through the drop through stick. Stick bridge, stick bridge destroyed. And now it's time for the grilled lizard. Mm. Evasion. Alright, through the swan gates. Onto the sticky blue moss. To the upper surface, sticky blue moss, up the bluff face, continuing up the left bluff face, onto the sticky blue moss, and collecting keystone. Alright, back onto the upper surface, over the docile slug, over a second docile slug, along the bluff tops. Thanks for the second keystone. Over another docile slug. To the keystone gate. Over the pond. Continuing, continuing right. Oh, here comes Howl. Here comes Howl. You can't get me, Howl. Delivering blows with a lit torch. Uh, delivering four blows to knock them off the cliff. Bye bye, Owl. Down to the left. To the column opening. Hopping to the left side of the column, collecting hidden spirit light, and then dropping all the way down to the bottom of the up the bluffs, up the bluff top, and into Spirit Edge Cove. Oh, you have a cutscene here. Have to skip the cutscene. Skip cutscene. Immediately equip Spirit Edge through a stick bridge. Climbing up the corridor. Taking on these spiny slugs. Up to the lizard. Up to the northeast limit. Collecting and equipping magnets. 
across the hanging platform through a stick bridge. And to the Moki Cinematic. Five Mokis. All coming in about Nywin. Oh, let's go, Moki. Let's pick up the pace. Through the drop, through stick. Through stick bridge. Pearl Blizzard, trap, stick bridge. Drop through stick. Spiny slaw. Pendulum. Spirit well. Unlock spirit well. Alrighty. Spirit well unlocked. Fully refreshed. Across the pendulum. Positioning the stone onto the platform, onto the suspended platform. And the stone is a height increaser and continuing into the spawn gated combat zone. Got a mantis, real blizzard, and a real blizzard, and they're gone. Alright, gotta get the in spirit light on the other side of this block base. Got it. Alright, now to absorb double jump. Got it. Now up to sticky. It's a nice little double jump maneuver. I don't equip sticky. Sticky slows you down. Continuing into a basin corridor. Debating a frilled lizard. Using a pendulum as a height increaser. And up, up, up along the bluff tops. We have a lip here. Up over the lip to the wide opening. Oh yeah, another wide opening, and lowering the suspended part. Up to the bluff top. Down to the plasma stream basin. And stone. To block the plasma stream. Plasma stream blocked. Oh. Using the stone as a step up to collect the keystone. Watch out for the spiny slugs. Through the exit corridor, back up to the top of the ropes. Up to bluff top, continuing up through the transitional corridor. Through the transitional corridor to column bottom. Out of the column basement to column bottom. Over the fossil bridge. Up above the keystone gate, collecting the second keystone in a high cove. <clears throat> Unlocking a keystone. Cross an infected fluid pool to a palestine on bridge. Along the sticky blue moss, evading a spiny slug. Continuing up, up, up. Over a bloated slug. All the way collecting a life cell fragment. At LCF Wing 1 Terminus. Up along the bluff tops. Bam, bam, bam. 
Bye bye, spiny slug. Continuing back out towards main column. Staying as high as possible. <sighs> climbing, climbing, climbing. Through a bone bridge. Taking out the spiny slugs on the way. Another bone bridge. Post stump. Post over the infected fluid. Into the cobblestone. Second life cell. Spiny slug. Bone bridge. And now up out of the column. Ascending up to upper end quarter now through Howl's corridor. Ah, collecting reckless. Collecting and equipping. Continuing now to absorb regenerate in a swampy basin. Generate absorbed. Up out of the basin, climbing the walls. Off a branch. Going all the way to upper end water now. Hanging cliff. Exit. Step. To the left. Not going into loopholes. Cove, continuing all the way to the wispy root. Here's the wispy root. There's a hungry mantis here, but he is of no concern. In the upper ink water, through the commons. Time to talk to Ofer. Hi, Ofer. I'd like to purchase Sentry. Sentry purchased. Equipped to the B button. Sentry jumping over the gap. Springing over to the flexible pole. Spirit light. Up off the pallet pendulum. And now over some thorns. Large mosquito knocks me into the thorn patch, but minor damage. Nothing major. Uh, it won't let me skip the cutscene. Oh, there it is. Moki saw the cutscene. Skipped. Infected fluid lowered. Pauses. All right. Down into Spirit Arc Cove through the drop through stick. Energy self, right? Up, up, up. Spirit Arc absorbed. Assign it to X. Thunderstone. All the way to the top of Ice Stone Cove. Arc switch. 
I stone. Large mosquito. Take him out. Nice sentry jump to the arc switch and up to the eye stone. Continuing to the eye stone gates over the floating stones and through. All right, Twillin. I'll purchase energy from Twillin. And I actually can purchase an upgrade. Energy and an upgrade. I'll equip that right away. Life self right now. Cast the falling block trap. Sentry jumping up. Arc switch over. Infected fluid lever, lowering the infected fluid. Down goes the infected fluid. Full pace off the ledge. Further down, in the Qualox Hollow West. Arc switched, retracting pole over into the gravity switch hub. Extending the retracting pole, positioning the high stone, pushing it over the ledge, switching on the gravity switch. Gravity switch on, that opens the statue gate, and over to two others now. Retractable pole extended, infected fluid lever. Down to the basin. Slide gate lever. Slide gate open. Loaded slug taken care of. Mosquito taken care of. Sentry jumping up to the spirit light. Another large mosquito. Clearing the path. Up through the slide gate opening. Spiny slug gone. Retractable pole retracted. Hidden spirit light. Spiny slug, spiny slug. Up the walls, up the bluff top over towards the main column opening. Retractable pole extended. The cobblestone. Collecting energy cell. Down into the... Down into the column now. Continuing all the way to column bottom. Evading some feisty enemies here. Hanging poles. Beacons. Whoa. Yeah, that's feisty. Feisty mantis. To the pallet pendulum. And over to the pedestal. Activating the pedestal. Spirit trial is now open. All right, up to another lever in the statue gates. The way to bash is now clear. I just have to avoid this battle beetle. Here's this battle beetle. I'll double jump over him. Oh, he's got a quick charge on him. 
a little bit of damage, but I'll heal that pretty quickly. Up through the corridor, above, and down to the bash tree. Absorbing bash. Or excuse me, dash. That's what I was calling it, bash. It's dash. Dash. Dash is now absorbed. Oh! Whoa! Oh. Where'd a major pitfall there? Alright. Oh. Through the through the dash exhibition corridor. Hanging poles, flexible poles, sentry jumping up to a hanging cliff, to a vine, spirit light. Heading to the left side of the upper corridor now. Ah! Taking a little bit of damage on a jump height. Miscalculation and over into the hidden corridor, more spirit light. Up into the column now. Dashing all along the wide gaps. Up to a hanging pole. Sliding up these hanging poles. We have a fluid sack destroyed. More spirit lights. And a wingy cove. Up. Making good progress here. Now up to the spirit trial corridor. Sentry jumping up. Let's see if I can actually avoid one of these battle beetles. Avoided battle beetle. All kinds of spiny slugs. Well, one spiny slug in this corridor. And through the drop through to collect life cell fragment. And now for the spirit trial. Over to quick shot now. Pass the falling block trap. Collect quick shot. We have the pink orb switch. Spirit arc activated. Deep fatigue setting in now. But not too bad. Sentry jumping up. All the way to upper Qualox Hollow. Activating the spirit well. Now to take on Glowing Beetle Boss. Using Sentry and Spirit Edge combo. That's it for the beetle boss. A photo of the spiny basin.
hand to absorb trash. Statue gate. Open. Light cell fragments. And down back into bash column. Energy cell fragments. Over to talk to Quolock. Cutscene skips. Spirit light along the upper surface. So you have four pieces of spirit light to collect up into the arch now. Uh, we have a short milky cinematic. It's a little bit of a brain bomb here. I have to keep alert. Keep composure. And there's another and up into the convoluted co convoluted corridor code. And one more piece of spirit light. Wow. Got it. Now I get the old map from the lookout Moki. through to the Gorlick Ore. Bashing up to the top of the Glades entrance corridor. All right, into the Glades. <laughs> Time to purchase some abilities from Ofer. Purchase Smash. Spike. Continuing right, we get the Wanderer's parts from the Wanderer's pouch from Toke, and over, over, and here is Grom. Grom rebuild the spirit well for Gorlic Ore. The currency of Grom is Gorlic Ore. The currency of Twillin is Spirit Light. All right, over some thorny hazards, we'll talk to this family reunion Moki, and then over to going to purchase triple jump and upgrade, upgrade energy. Stone into a subterranean cove. Collecting 
toilet gore. Since you're jumping out of the cove, now ascending to the exit chute. Into the exit chute now. Spiny slugs. Spiny slugs. Hanging poles. Up, up, up to bluff top. Staying bluff top. Into hidden cove to collect spirit light. Now I have a vine enemy to the left. Fine enemy. Bashing off his projectile. Collect high point spirit light. Now ascending out of the exit chute. We have a dock, a floating dock, uninfected fluid. We have a tube, a duct, spewing duct, sentry jumping off of his opening into combat shrine. Spirit Smash here. Reflect projectile and another scorpion taking off a spirit smash. We have a battle deal now. And two divine enemies. I'll use his projectile to take out Battle Beetle and then reflect. Projectile back in to the vine. Scorpion. Another scorpion. Secret smashing the heck out of the scorpions. We have two projectile bees. Bash their projectiles right back into them. I'm gonna bash attack these uh, mantis. Two mantises. Just bash attack. Oh. I was a little late on my bash there. I got took some damage from a projectile. Oh, he got me again. All right, fine. There you go, fine enemy. All right, and that does it. That does it for this combat try. I'm gonna equip triple jump now in the shard slot and up. Oh. Into Hidden Cove, collecting a Life Cell Fragment. Down to the Wellspring now. You have a short cinematic, an entry cinematic. Can't skip it. I have to just wait for it. There's a few things in this Wellspring you just have to wait for, and there's nothing you can do about it. Just the patience. It's, it's a patience test. At the Salty's pools of the Wellspring now. They're still infected. I have four Wellspring doors to attack. But first I have to go into the sump. Along the top of the sump. Down the sump bottom. We have an oxidation ball that frees up some pulleys opening the door and starting the rotation of some wheel hazards. Along the surface, the bottom surface of the sump for an energy cell fragment. Taking a little bit of damage. Not worried too much about the damage. I can heal up pretty quickly. Into the upper wheel. Collecting the spirit light. Now to go get life harvest. Life harvest collected. Alright, now to door one, which I just opened. The oxidation ball bashing past enemies into the gravel subsection.
We have a super long entry cinematic here. We don't want to get too mentally tied up in. Uh. All right. Spirit light over the mossy blue wheels. Skipping. Skipping some of the oxidation balls because they don't really do anything useful. And I'll sentry jumping up to a hanging vine. Skipping the upper right terminus. Draining some infected fluid with a lever. And now... To the energy cell fragment above. To the hazardous corridor down to a lower surface swing pole. And this oxidation bulb I don't switch, I don't skip. Up to some hidden spirit light. I skip the third sub column here. So all it is is Lupo's. It's Lupo's Cove, which all Lupo does is give maps. So I don't worry about the map. If you're speed running in this game, you don't worry about the maps. You do it completely by memory. It takes time to purchase the maps and examine the maps. Absorbing grapple. Grappling up to a hidden cove, collecting spirit light. Over to the left. Grappling up out of this lower cove, back up to the upper corridor. Over towards door two. I have to open door two. Grappling up to it. Door open. Now there's a awning cove out here. Once I'm through the door, that holds a life cell and an oxidation ball. Up into the awning cove. Life cell fragment collected. Destroy the oxidation ball. Now I have a grapple point so I can grapple over to the swing pole and up to door three. This is the wheel subsection. And get the herb pouch from the smoky to the right. I'm gonna equip a uh, spike to take out this vine enemy to the left. Took him out. I have a couple of pulsing jets to evade and a wheel to evade, a wheel hazard. To evade using the shell as a shield from pulsing jets. And then up to the top, collecting spirit light at the top of this hazardous corridor, back through the spines. Off the spiny wheel, or evading the spines on the spiny wheel. <sighs> Into the combat zone, we have uh, Mantis, no lizard. Gorlick Warrior, two mantises. Ah, we have a tricky mantis there. I'm gonna take out this lizard, and that does it. Through the spawn gates. Well, first is here. Tell a little story, nothing useful. Um, 
destroying this oxidation wall to line the wheel openings to the big wheel room. Through the wheel. Through the wheel slot. Now at the bottom of this wheel room, there is a hidden cove with spirit light collected. I'm going to grapple to the lower right. And there's a lever here. Rotates the wheel puzzle room. I'm now on the left side of the room. I'm going to grapple up to the top. Through this center wheel using the shell as a shield from the pulsing jets. And then over. this lower right lever. Lost orientation there for a second. Orientation is back. I'm on the left side of the room again. Sentry jumping up through the pulsing jet. Through the center wheel. Along the blue moss wheels to the final lever. Back on the left side of the room again. There's some garlic ore to collect on the way out in the upper left of this room. And up into the hidden cove, and there's the garlic ore. Now over to the right. Down through the pulsing streams. All the way to the bottom, now grappling up out of the bottom, grappling up higher. More pulsing beams. Oh, I got tangled up there with the spines on the one of the on the exit wheel. I'm getting tangled up a little bit here, but not too bad. Oh, I got a little bit unlucky there. That's okay. Now this oxidation ball. Freeze up this wheel, this corrupted wheel, lining some slots. Door four is now open. I'm going to collect the iron needle over here on the left. Come here. Iron needle collected. Down through the rotating wheel slots. Outdoor three. I'm gonna get some garlic ore here from Toke. I'm gonna go to the left and grapple up to door four. Oh. Got a little bit unlucky there. With the grappling, I tried to grapple, do a shortcut grapple, and didn't didn't hit. That's okay. It's only five second, five to ten second change. Collecting ultra grapple, activating the pedal stool. Now it's to the right side of the wellspring hub. To collect spirit light and run a spirit trial. Spirit life collected without any damage, which is a, an accomplishment. It's a tricky piece of spirit life to collect without collecting damage, also. Uh, through the hazardous corridor here, series of hairpin bends, collecting some garlic ore. Now it's time for the spirit trial. It's a pretty simple spirit trial. Across the hub. Uh, 
out to the exit corridor. Up through the exit corridor into the mossy wheel. Over the opening to the pedestal. And that does it. 38 seconds. It's a good time. Now, back out to the main hub. Gotta watch out for these rotating warhammers. Pretty easy. Now, into door four, the Hydra escape subsection. I have some collectibles. We have this piece of spirit line. Unlock the spirit well. I have a second piece of hidden spirit light. And an upper hidden code. Collect the seat on the right hand wing. Uh, sentry jumping up, grappling up to the top. Oh, I have to purchase a uh, fast travel from Alpha. I'll purchase some abilities from Alpha. has me in his grasp. Offer comes to save the day. Time for the Hydra escape. Through the escape corridor. Falling poles, rotating wheels, infected fluid. A rolling wheel opening up. to the right. Final wheel now. Some tricky bashes here. And a grapple. And the escape is complete. Another long cinematic. I just have to wait for it. Stretch out my legs. I refresh my legs here. Oh. Down into this pool, there's a hidden cove and some spirit light, bashing off this piranha, and bashing off this piranha again. Grappling up. Up to the awning top, now over to the right. Don't want to go into this pool twice. Good road identification. Now uh, through the slotted wheel. Grappling up to a ledge cove, collecting toilet gore. 
This is going well. Back into the slotted wheel. Underwater. Gotta be conscious of breath time. Now grappling up the right hand side of the hub. It's a piece of garlic ore. Grappling up further, bashing off this bee through the boards to collect some energy cell fragments. Dropping down over to the right. I have one last piece of spirit light underwater. I'm going to collect that. Now I'm going to warp over to Quolox Hollow. Talk to Kolok again. To the right. Taking the high route. Bashing off some enemies here. Now there's a processor delay here I have to wait for the map to catch up with my progress. Alright. Now all the way over to the right. I'm gonna skip a cool out cutscene. Down into the pool. Piranha bashing. To a tricky cove. Now back down. Some more piranha bashing. Taking a breath, that's important. You want to take that breath, you can get trapped into the lower cove. Collecting more spirit light. Now I have to take another breath. Now there's one more piece of garlic ore in this pool here. It's Kolok's den pool. <coughs> garlic ore collected. Bashing up to the surface. And now there's a hidden cove here. First there's a short mopey cinematic. Uh, now a hidden cove. Into the hidden cove. Now down into this submerged corridor. Submerged thorny corridor. Taking a breath. Through the most thorny parts. I'm gonna take a little damage here, but that's okay. It's calculated allowed damage. And then up to the top, collecting an energy cell fragment. I'm gonna bash off this vine enemy. Now, I'm gonna use this projectile to destroy this brittle bridge that's destroyed. Now, up to the top. Into the silent woods. We have Shriek on the hunt. jumping up to this high log and then to the right another sentry jump upper surface spirit light now we have some quicksand some bubbling quicksand some timing maneuvers I have to go to the upper surface, the upper island surface. Here, there's a piece of hidden spirit light and a spirit well. Let me get the spirit light. Here's the spirit well. Unlock the spirit well. And across the opening. 
hoard of this key. He gives me a lifeless branch. It's part of the family reunion quest. Or actually, it's part of the tree keeper quest. And now back down to uh, quicksand level. Got some more timing maneuvers. High consequences here. You cannot mess up the timing. Oh! More quicksand maneuvers. Bubbling quicksand. Oh. Nothing else. Into the next subsection here. Meeting up with Ku and collecting Ku Rose feather and the ability to ride on Ku's back. Hey, Ku. Can't skip the cinematic. Here comes Shriek, he's still lurking, still on the hunt. I'm gonna hide behind this stump. Wait for him to pass. On the coup's back. Have the ability to flap and shoot arrows. Spear dark arrows. Gliding across in quicksand. Flapping some wing uh, flapping some leaves off, collecting spirit light. Collecting more spirit light. Up the convection currents, luring this Explosive bloated beetle, flapping them into a root bridge. Root bridge destroyed. Flapping leaves, collecting spirit light. Oh, I talked to the key there, I don't need to talk to him. I'm going to go into this hidden cove, collect the keystone. Up to the top, under this flaccid oxidation bulb, collect the keystone. I'm going to lure out this. Loaded beetle. We'll flap him into this ash bridge. Up, right in the convection currents into the cove. Now through the convection cove opening. I think the fourth and final keystone. I'm gonna ride these convection currents back up into Ku's cage. This is Ku's cage. It's washed by Shriek. So. Oh. To the Keystone Gate. Through the Keystone Gate. I want to keep this section moving. Flapping these leaves, spirit light, and an uh, upper surface spirit light. Now there's a spiky jaw trap, triggered by a flaccid oxidation ball, also known as an oxidation blob. Continuing through the convection corridor, up through another flaccid oxidation ball, luring this beetle out, flapping them into an ash bridge. Collecting the spirit light. Now I have to turn on another convection elevator up into this hidden cove, collecting garlic ore. Continuing to glide left up through another thorny convection corridor. And now some quicksand, some carp fluffs. I'm gonna collect the spirit light 
I'm gonna glide and time these bubbles over to the lower left through another oxidation blob. Now there's a tricky hidden piece of spirit light here all the way across the bluff tops and the drop through stick. In the hidden cove, that's an important one. Now gliding back to the left. Or the top of this large statue. Large degrading statue. Disintegrating. Into this hollow log corridor. Shriek has been watching me for a long time here. Into the hollow log. It's a Z shape. An oxidation blob. Now to some convection corridor. Unlocking a spirit well. Up to the top. And to the right. Uh, there's a cinematic here. I unfortunately lose our friend Ku to Shriek. But now I have Kuro's feather. Getting towards the windswept wastes now. Just have a couple more things to do and then it's on to the feeding grounds and windswept wastes. Cinematically restricted here. I can only move at a slow pace into another cinematic. Here's the lifeless body of Ku. I'm going to skip this cutscene. And skip another cutscene. Wake up in Polak's Hollow and then warp immediately to the convection corridor in Middle Silent Woods. Up the convection corridor. Dashing to the right as much as possible. over two gaps and to a sand nodule. Oh, I have to re-equip uh, Spirit Edge. In Century. Into the feeding grids, feeding grounds. Into the feeding grounds. Here comes Shriek. He's grabbing my shelter. Now begins the escape sequence into a petrified cocoon. Up a convection current, hide behind a faded red cloth. Ah, waiting, waiting. 
Shriek's gaze dissipates and is to another petrified cocoon. Shriek gives it a headbutt. Final escape. Now into the windswept wastes. Unlocking the spirit well. To the right. Grappling or along the upper surface. We have four hidden coves, four collectibles to collect, and then it's up to absorb burrow. So here's hidden collectible one. Staying along the upper surface grapple points. Gorlick ore. And a sentry jump up to this life cell fragment. Continuing right as fast as possible across this disintegrating sandbar and into this footbridge. Dropping through to a sand nodule and up into a in the cold. I'll sentry jumping up to the top to the upper level of the windswept wastes. And up to the top of this hazardous corridor, collecting some spirit light. I have a sand line corridor up to a sand nodule. And through, now to absorb burrow. Absorb and burrow. Bound into the sand now. I can now travel through the sand at a high rate of speed. I'm gonna activate this pedestal. Have some collectibles along the upper surface now. Go down. Got one on the right in this sand pit. Now pass this mosquito nest to the left through the sand. up into the upper corridor. Have some spirit light. And an energy cell fragment. Uh, burrow over. Some more spirit light. Around this protrusion to collect the life cell fragment. Now there's a garlic ore behind the driftwood shell. Pushing up through the sand module. There's the door look over, now I'm gonna go unlock the spirit well. There it is. Now I gotta go spawn the burrow bar. Down through this drop through stick. Here's the burrow bar. That provides access to last stand. First, I gotta go down into Crack Expansion Cove. Down into Crack Expansion Cove. Up to the upper surface, collecting spirit light. Now to the lower left surface, to collect some hidden, a hidden uh, life cell fragment. Uh, sentry jumping out. To the upper left. And now up into last stand cold. Carving a path for this projectile to destroy the molten bridge. Collecting last stand. Sentry jumping up to the upper cold. Collecting spirit light. Now gotta continue into Kettle Cove on the lower opening to the upper upper cove 
above the kettle, and then down to the kettle sump. Collects an energy cell fragment. Uh, now there's an eerie gem to the left of this. Climb up this bluff base into this second depression. And here's the eerie gem. And now to the left limit of windswept wastes. A couple things to do in the sand pit here. First, destroy this sand one arm. Collect this molten bridge spirit light, and now run the spirit trial. Trial going well through the sand. Nicely done. Now it's back into the silent woods. Just the combat shrine. Collect a couple of collectibles. First, we have this hidden garlic ore. The sand pit. Thorny cove. Sand pit. Now there's the, uh, another piece of spirit light in an isolated cove in this subterranean shaft. Burrowing through the subterranean shaft over towards the combat shrine. Through the shaft now, glide down to the opening of the combat shrine. It's a tricky Loaded beetle, and take care of him with the sentry. I'm gonna tread on these convection currents here. Over to the combat trial. Uh, there's a piece of spirit light that I have to get. It's hidden spirit light. Spirit light, now I can warp on over to the glades. <clears throat> Have to prepare for Bower's Reach, which involves spicy soup. Fresh here in the spirit well. I'm gonna talk to Grom real quick. Just gonna do some dwelling repairs. Clear some thorns.
Now it's to the right side. And purchase the rest of Ulfur's abilities. Jumping up to Thule. <coughs> Have him plant some grapple points. Sentry jumping up to the grapple point and up into this cave. We have um, some leaves here. And then one of Thule's pals. I'm going to get some spicy soup. And then back over to the glade center. Talk to this decoration monkey here. Collect a piece of spirit light. I'm gonna drop down into this subterranean cove, collect spirit light, talk to this cave milky. And then up into this sandy cove, collecting more spirit light. Since you're jumping out, give uh, the lifeless branch. Excuse me, I'm going to get the hot key from this milky. And I'm going to go to Twillin. He's going to give me secret for the Eerie Gem, and I'm going to purchase some upgrades to Reckless, the Magnet, and to Ultra Grapple, which I don't use, but. Going for 100% completion, so I buy it anyway. Now there's a piece of garlic bar at the top of the glades here. It's important for completion. The central jump all the way up. Now I have it. Now it's in the exit shoot. Bash grappling across. Down into the water. And spirit lights. Bash grappling up to the upper left. Yeah. Gorlick or over here. Now out of the upper surface cove, down into the submerged cove. There's a life cell fragment or an energy cell fragment down here. Got the energy cell fragment. Bashing out of the submerged corridor. And there's some Gorlick ore over here. And this wing. Bashing off the vine enemy. Now to Bower's cave. Flapping to wait power. Go sentry jump off his back. Down into the submerged cove. Subterranean cove, excuse me. I'm going to smash the spiny slug. Flap this kettle and flap the kettle projectile into this shrine lantern. Oh, there's a piece of spirit light over here I have to collect. Now I have to go all the way to the top of sub column one. Collect two more pieces of spirit light and then go open a slide gate or a swing gate. Ah. 
And there it is. Woo! Up to the top. Nicely done. Gliding down through the opening. Up to the right. Up to the right uh, side of sub column one. To the upper summit. Opening the swing gate. <laughs> Now through the opening, collecting spirit light. Now I have this garlic warrior to quickly dispatch, and then I have a bunch of things to do in this subterranean cove. Down in the sand, to collect spirit light, and then equip the feather. I have two difficult projectile tasks here. One is to melt the wall behind the kettle. Takes two bashes. Now this is a three bash juggle. And that was good. Very good. Spirit light over here. Now, sentry jumping out of the subterranean portion. Up into sub column two. Bashing up, there's a piece of Gorlic ore up here on this retracting vine. Got it. Things are going good so far. And I'm going to continue to sentry jump up. the northwest expansion. We have a tricky little route here up to collect uh, life force. Very useful shard. And then there's this hidden coal over to the left with some spirit light. Now back over to the right. Back out. Out of the northwest expansion to the top of sub column two. A little bit of a shriek cinematic. Now, a sentry jump up into this hollowed tree stump. We have garlic ore up here. I'm gonna flap this kettle projectile. tricky section of thorn corridor over to this flexible pole we got keystone spirit light I have to time this duct projectile to apex and now through the keystone gates Absorbing light burst. I have to get Gorlick Ore on the way out. There's a piece of Gorlick Ore above, I have to get it. Into this raised pit spirit light. Through the swing gate. Collect the seed. All right, over, over, over. And this ice walled melt. Piece of spirit light at terminus, and then an upper ice wall, and then up to the top. I have to get this garlic ore. Here it is. Back over the gap. And now there's a submerged piece of spirit light over here. Through the submerged corridor. <coughs> now, 
down sub count to as fast as possible. There's some duct projectile to evade, and out to the right terminus. The subterranean shaft. Up the convection currents, gonna go get the comfy hat from the smoky. And then to the right. over the bluff tops I'm gonna bash this lizard into the thorns I'm gonna bash this mantis into the thorns and I'm gonna destroy this ice wall with light burst not through the sand left behind to the life cell fragments behind the posterior life cell fragment now the trickiest piece of spirit light in the game Got it. Continuing the sentry jump over these obstacles. Over to right terminus. Lighting that candle. Whoa! Gotta watch out for these clamps, they're extremely dangerous. The clamps are extremely dangerous. On this level. That's good. Oh, the clamp got me, but it's okay to get caught by a clamp in the jaws, but you don't want to get reverse caught. That will cause a death. So now over to this combat zone. force You want to save. If you want to conserve energy in this portion, you don't want to run out of energy here. Down into the convection shaft below. We have a piece over a keystone to collect here, and then over. Um, continuing left, we have catalyst, shrine lantern to thaw terrain, and then through the submerged cove. Climbing the wall to collect catalyst. Conserving energy. For a sentry jump out of this area. Sentry jumping into the convection shaft. Now here's this hidden cove, upper surface hidden cove for spirit light. Dashing below the fluid sacks. Another fluid sack, another fluid sack. Dodging the fluid sacks. And now it's to the right. Terminus. Run the spirit trial. still activated and spirit trial time.
That does it. Spirit trial. Now, ascending mega escape column. Evading the war hammers. Now to the avalanche escape in a wisp collection. I have a lengthy cinematic. Here comes Shriek. Laughing. He's going to start an avalanche. There it is, the escape is complete. Awaking to Bower. Bower the bear. The second half of this cinematic can be skipped. Following this terrain, Dorlikor. Climbing these clamps up to Spirit Light. Taking care of this nest with a spike. Now warping to lower ink water. Gonna check 100% completion on Bowers Reach. Go through 100% first pass completion on Bowers Reach. And I have it, which is huge. All right, through this cobblestone here, over to a combat shrine. Lower in water combat shrine.
care of these little mosquitoes. Oh. oh, large mosquitoes. Life force helps. And there it is, another shard slot. Now I have to climb up the column. Collect the fossil. To collect the fossil garlic ore. Now that I have smash, I can destroy this fossil bridge. Collect this garlic ore. And now there's one more thing. to climb to the top of the column and get Howl's Fang and barter with a Moki for uh, Gorlick or All the way up to the top. Reach the top level now. Bashing over to right terminus. And down to this uh, hollow spring. I'm gonna bash up. Oh, I'm gonna sentry jump up into this cove. Collect the uh, energy cell fragment. Now to the left. I have to go barter with this milky for garlic or Hey Moki, I'd like some garlic ore for this Howl Spain. Now warping to upper ink water. Life cell fragment in this grapple cove. Collected. And now to the right. The Ofer's perch and down. Through a weak stump opening. Into the saturated corridor. The game is glitchy here. Ah! I had a multi-jump irregularity there. Up to the top of the blue mossy wheel. Gorlick ore. Here's the spiny slug. Through the cobblestone to this life cell fragment. To right terminus, bashing off this spiny slug. Collecting the spirit light at right terminus. And now there's thorny corridor opening that you spring up to collect this energy cell fragment. Now it's over to the combat shrine. Easiest combat shrine in the game. Big mosquito. Big mosquito. Mantis. Little mosquito. Little mosquito. Little mosquito. Little mosquito. Fire mantis. Big mosquito, big mosquito. And that's it. It's just one big mosquito. Now, 
bringing over. Into the thorny corridor to activate the pedestal. Now I have to go to left limit to run the spirit trial. Out of the corridor to the log pallet bridge, climbing up the flexible poles all the way over the upper branch to the spirit trial start spirit trial shrine off the spring pads a little bit of some struggle there but not too bad now over to the island in silent woods He gives me the tree seed this time. I have a piece of spirit light under this pile of leaves. And then I can collect the petrified doll now that I have the hook key. Petrified doll. I'm going to warp over to the glades. <laughs> More ground projects. He plants an ancestral light tree that boosts all Ori's attacks, which is very convenient for the rest of the game. The last seed. So the seed has two names. It's the tree seed, and then it's the last seed. So that's kind of interesting. Now over along the lower surface, absorbing ancestral light. I'm going to talk to the family reunion, Nolki. That completes the mission. Now I'm going to upgrade as many shards as I can and also purchase as many shards as I can. Then over to the left limit 
to get the lantern from this lookout monkey. Now to work to Quolox Hollow. All right, through the spiny basin cove. I have to wait for the map to catch up again. I'm going to pause it. Takes like, oh, we had a game failure. I'm going to take a 10 minute break. All right, starting the live stream back up. Down into Bash Corridor, Bash Column. Through the statue gate, over to the entrance of Moldwood Depths. Have this smoky cinematic to wait for, and then I have to do a bash burst. To the tricky Moldawood depths now. Bash bursting up to the spirit light and now over to Splinter, the lower right terminus. Now into the Moldawood depths. Collecting this lower right spirit light. Past this fluid sack, past the spider, past this fluid sack, past the spider, and up into the coal collecting spot. Beautifully executed trick section. And now there's a hidden cove, Gorlick Ore. gonna burst this lantern gnome and follow it to a keystone. Follow the lightning bug to a keystone. All the way over onto the pendulum, the rocky pendulum. Following a second lightning bug, actually lantern bug, it's a lantern bug, not a lightning bug, a lantern bug, and over. We have a second dark corridor here, a little bit tricky, just have to be swift. There it is. Following the slantern bug out of this dark corridor. I have some tricky back grapples to do here. Nothing too bad yet. Uh, all right. Up through the Keystone Gates. Now there's an expansion above with a couple of oxidation bulbs to take care of it. To 
took care of him. And the second one taken care of. So that's two oxidation ball that opens the slide gate below. They have a tricky little old spiny opening there that I executed perfectly that time. Now down, down through the dark corridor, in the dark corridor now. Have to be swift from light haven to light haven up to the spirit light on the ledge above. Now we have a couple spring pads. Another spring pad, a tricky back grapple. You have to stay in the light. Very nicely done. And I'm going to dash on over to the spring pad and over to the spirit well. Very well. Very well done. And now, following another lantern bug. In the dark corridor. Gliding down shaft bottom. <laughs> oh, yeah, and then up, oh. collect this keystone and this life self fragment above. Back down, destroy this land. Follow this bug to the other side of this dark cove. Following this bug. Alright, all the way to a keystone gate and through the third and final stretch of dark corridor before Flash is absorbed, which makes the whole thing much easier. I just spiked a spider, a tricky spider. I'm going to tread on these uh, hanging lanterns here. Over the spring pad, bashing right, bashing right. To the light haven. Now there's a uh, pedestal in the upper left. Take care of that. Now one final stretch of dark corridor over to absorb flash. Using some back grapple technique. Waiting for the lantern bug. Got some petrified cocoons. Absorbing flash. Turning flash on, sentry jumping up to the spirit light. Collected. Now to the left. To go to the lower left here.
can absorb spirit surge, which is another useful shard. Increases my damage the more spirit light that I have. Alright. Over to this protrusion bluff, sentry jumping up. Oh, the life cell fragment, and now one of the trickiest, trickiest spirit trials in the game. Back grapple. Now up the lantern shaft. Back grapple. Up to the light haven. Lantern. Back grapple. Lantern. Back grapple. And that's it. Perfectly executed. Quick turning on flash again. I have one more collectible up here. Or excuse me. I already got the collectible. This is the way to uh, Mora's Lair. Springing up to Mora's Lair, I gotta refresh some energy. Bash off these bugs. All the way to left terminus, collecting a seed. And back to the right. Climbing up the petrified cocoon. Springing up to Mora's lair, to the upper surface of Mora's lair. Now it's time to take on Mora. I have the cinematic that I can't skip. He's gonna knock me down to the bottom of his lair. And I'm gonna escape back out of it through a hollow log. I'm gonna use spike. Spike and evasion. Equipping spike. Invading. Moro's angry now. Opens up the hollow log. Climbing up the hollow log. Grappling over. Grappling up. Well done. Now I'm going to put flash on B here so when the lights go out, I don't die. As soon as he comes to the active plane here, I'm going to finish him off. Come to the active plane. Active plane. And that does it for more. I'm going to skip this cutscene. I'm going to straighten out my equips. Head on over to the spirit well. Boingy, boingy, boingy. All right, very good. Now, I have to go get the Moldawood silk. at the bottom of the shaft. There's a Gorlic Ore that you have to get on the way. Going up. And over to the Moldawood Silk Moki. Thank you. Down into the Submerged Corridor. Piranha Bashing. 
the lower right limit. And there's a, an energy cell fragment. Heading up over, I have to open up the combat shrine slide gate. It's up here, it's at upper mid of the lower submerged corridor. Back down into Submerged Corridor. And to the Combat Shrine. I'm gonna spike this right through this Combat Shrine. does it. I'm going to warp up to Upper Moldawood now. There's one last energy cell fragment. Down to submerged corridor. Piranhas. Nicely done, and up to the energy cell fragment. Now warping to upper ink water. Bashing off these enemies down into this hidden underwater cove. Collect spirit light. Cell fragments behind the stone, posterior to the stone, and now down to the lower surface of this pool. Collect this garlic ore on the other side. Ow, that's a tricky snake. Ow, I'm just getting hosed right now. My burrow radius and bash radius are just. Varying. Now up. Oh. Hidden spirit light. In the entry chute to Luma Pools. Now 
Now there's a critical little junction here. You have to have full momentum going into this stream. Up over the stream, up over the big wheel. Bubble puzzle one, done. Now back down to the bubble puzzles. The coral bridge destroyed. Waiting for a bubble to get this piece of spirit light. Got it. Now Sentry jumping. Oh, another tricky spiny snail. All right. So the bubble puzzles are done now. Sentry jumping up into this hidden cove, collecting garlic ore. Staying, taking the upper corridor to the left. Talking to the mobile In Spyglass, Varder Moki. Getting the Spyglass. Now for the fiber switch puzzle. Set sequence draining the water. Ultra bash. Luring these OSTs, these Ori seeking torpedoes, to destroy molten bridges. Molten bridge destroyed. Up to the next level. Now I have a combat zone. Spawn gated combat zone. Bashing these scorpions, these aquatic scorpions into the water. And that does it for the combat zone. <coughs> Sentry jumping up to collect energy harvest and then down into the water. Evading the war hammers. Luring an OST up to this exit chute, bashing it into the molten bridge and through. And now up to talk to Kolak, who's a little bit sleepy. I can't skip this cinematic. All right, cinematic done. Sentry jumping over to this hidden seed. 
And now to the tip of the ledge. Up to the bluff top above. And then down into the pool to the left. Luring an OST over. Bashing to Cove Apex. And then bashing the OST into the wall to destroy it. Up to the next level, up to bluff top. Sentry jumping up to Keystone. Continuing to the right, grappling. Evading a fluid sack. Activating a pedestal on the upper right ledge. There's one more Keystone to get. Keystone collected. Now over to the Keystone Gate. And through. Bashing over to Absorb Swim Dash. On a center island. There's three things to do in this cove. The bash through this jet. Swim, swim dash to this jet and then hit this bump switch to open this piston gate at the upper right for later. Now a tricky sentry jump. Up to the top, to a shallow pool to collect Spirit Light. One of the more tricky Spirit Lights in the game. It's a little bit counterintuitive. You have to accept some damage to get it. Otherwise you have to fuss with this bubble for too long and it's not worth it. So now up to this Gorlick Ore. Down to collect this shallow pool Spirit Light and into the Cement Cove in the large aeration pool. And then tapping on this fiber switch. And then another fiber switch down to the basin cove. And then out into the main airspace. All the way to the apex. And through the Pentacle Gate, Sentry jumping up to a lever that opens a piston gate on the upper left side, housing a energy cell fragment. Now down through the hazardous corridor, and over into the cove, collecting the energy cell fragment. So this section is clear now. I just have to uh, escape through the lower right. And now it's down to uh, Quolock's escape tunnel that he opened up earlier. Down and through. Falling block puzzle, swim dashing right past it. Up into the spirit well. Cove, collecting upper surface spirit light, and then down below into the sand, there's a warhammer puzzle, through the puzzle, and now all the way to the escape tunnel terminus, encountering corrupted Quolak. into the infected fluid emerging for a meal. It's escape time. Escaping to the left.
through the submerged corridor over the spiky bluff and then to the final battle oh have to equip a uh, quick shot and splinter here That does it for the Quolock, Quolock battle. Very vulnerable to Spirit Arc Splinter. Climbing the vine to the top. Quolock is holding the Ink Hydra smashing it and now there's a wisp collection cinematic can't skip it takes about a minute in the meantime i'm planning my route back into uh, Luma Pool center. It's a submerged route for the most part. A couple collectibles and uh, log pallet bridge into the main section. To the middle spirit well. The middle right spirit well. Now have all four wisps and can enter the wind-torn ruins. So to the hidden corridor at the lower right terminus through the sand swim dashing along to collect garlic ore and then there's another fiber switch to open a tentacle gate exit and now it's along the bluff tops past scorpion island Aquatic scorpions into a hidden cove on the other, a submerged hidden cove to the lower right, a log pallet bridge, back up to the Keystone Depot, springing up to Bluff Top and through Keystone through the Keystone Gate. Now to the center, Swim Dash Island. Sentry jumping off the right side, a curved sentry jump into the Blackstone Puzzle Cove. To the upper left to collect an energy cell fragment. And, that, and then down into the right pool to destroy a, the molten bridge at the lower center with an OST. Now there's four fiber switches. Destroy all four fiber switches. And then that opens up the stone block gate. Now. This is a little bit of a puzzle. <laughs> it's an OST puzzle. A little bit tricky. But there's a life suffering behind a molten bridge. I lost about five seconds there futzing around. Well, 
now into this Spirit Light Cove. There's an OST that I have to bash to defend myself. And now to the Spirit Well and back into the combat enclosure. So this is one of the more annoying uh, combat enclosures. The uh, submerged section is a little tricky. You have to use swim dash to attack these piranhas and it's it's kind of a slow thing. It takes a while. It's a little bit frustrating. And then there's these uh, beta eels. You also have to swim dash these things and that, that's frustrating also. Take care of these vine enemies with uh, bash reflection. Oh, I thought I destroyed that. All right. Now there's the life cell fragment at the top. You can grapple up to get it. And then it's to the left, to the spirit trial. This can be a tricky spirit trial also. I've had it malfunction on me before. And there it is, the malfunction. The malfunction happened again. Oh, so there is a missing island there. I'm going to delete that from the, that does not count towards the final time. That's a credit, that's a credit. There's a missing island. Got it. All right, now to finish off this section, one of the trickier sections. It's a falling block piece of spirit light that can easily cause a death. You have to be very precise on it. Got it. Now up to the top. Pass Lupo, Gorlick or Almost to the end now. Almost done with the Guzma pools. Pass the Coral Bridge. There's a submerged pool with Spirit Light. And then there's this Moki that gives me this amulet. And then it's further right, down into the pool, to the right. Swim dashing past the falling block trap. And then over to the large wheel. Swim dashing through a jet into the cove below. And then over the wheel to the exit chute. Bashing a vine projectile into a brittle bridge to destroy it. And then through this plank board cove. Bashing off uh, an aquatic scorpion to collect spirit light. Now into the final section, grappling through some thorny corridor, up to collect a life cell fragment. Back into the submerged section, bashing up to the top, destroying a log pallet bridge, collecting spirit light. Continuing along the upper surface of the corridor, through a log pallet bridge. into a hidden cove.
collecting an energy cell fragment. And that should do it for Luma Pools. 100%, very good. Luma Pools is complete. Now to upper ink water. Sentry jumping up to collect a piece of spirit light. And now it's time to warp to the Wellspring Glades. I have a recon mission here. I have to get. I have to get the canteen from uh, Mote, and also buy out uh, Twillin. I'm gonna catch up on ground projects. There's one ground project left. One ground project left. Now to twill in. I'm gonna buy as many upgrades as I can. And that's done. Now it's up to Mote. Mote will give me the canteen for the spyglass. Then I'm going to warp to the entrance of the windswept wastes. So warping to the entrance of the windswept wastes. I have to go talk to a Gorlick miner and get the map stone fragment. the miner. Map stone fragment collected. Warping to windswept wastes east. I have to finish up upper windswept wastes. Through the sand nodule, through the sandy corridor. down, through the drop through footbridge, bashing off the Gorlick warrior. Now into uh, turmoil, co turmoil, oh you Oh, I, I ran into some bad luck. And now these sandbars are not respawning, which is just unexplicable. So I'm having another malfunction here. I'm going to heal. I'm having a malfunction. Ah. Care of it. 
And up through the Keystone Gate. Sentry jumping up to the energy cell fragment. Spirit smashing the Gorlick Warrior. Triggering the throttle of the OST. Now I have to spike this uh, fire mantis. Now I do have to do another OST bash into this molten bridge. Opening the galvanized steel slide gate. Now I have to lure another OST. Ah. Well, the Gorlick Warrior got in the way again. Into the sand below. Through the lightning wheel puzzle room. Through the sand node. To the garlic ore. Bashing up to the temple sidewalk. And that's 100% completion on the windswept wastes. And now I can enter the wind torn ruins for the fire hydra escape. into the temple corridor now. I have to wait for these mural miniature cinematics. To right terminus. And through. Opening the slide gate. with a lever.
through the temple corridor. More temple corridor. All the way to the bottom of the temple. Activating the spirit well, and now it's over to collect Seer's Wisp, the final wisp, which unites the four wisps into a single wisp that carries Seer's presence with Ori for the rest of the game. So the wisps are uniting. The wisps are uniting. And now Sears Wisp, which is a golden, a flaming golden spear. Irregularly shaped spear is following Ori for the rest of the game. Or at least until the next encounter with Shriek and to the entrance to Willow's End. Now for the Fire Hydra escape. Through the thorny corridor. Thorny sand filled corridor. Bashing and burrowing. Off the spring pad. Up. Bashing through sand bridges. Or burrowing through sand bridges. into a sandy retreat. <laughs> and then all the way to the escape corridor, the temple escape corridor, sand filled. And out to the temple sidewalk. And that does it for the Fire Hydra Escape. Now warping to the temple bottom. Into this basin to get an energy cell fragment.
All right, now warp into the entrance of the windswept wastes. I just placed the map still, and I now have all secrets marked on my map. Hand to hand side quest is complete. Now to Weeping Ridge, starting the elevator shaft. I have to equip Spirit Surge. I don't know why are these warriors not going down with one spike. They should be going down with one spike. There. Alright, now to the launch absorption shaft. past the mines, down to the shaft bottom. Absorbing launch. Spirit light. Piece of garlic ore. Oh, back to the shaft. A couple more pul pulsing jets to take care of here. And through and into Willow's End. Now for the tricky Willow's End. Probably going to do it with less narration because it takes more concentration in some of these more difficult obstacles. High point spirit light. Bound through the pulsing beam. Floating perches. Ah, got tangled up with a the beam there. Timing malfunction. the upper oh. upper left hmm. 
Corrupted heart destroyed. There we go. Through the slotted wheel. Oh, what the heck? I don't know, this game is having some malfunctions. There it is. the projectile puzzle. Quick heal. I don't know. Around some of those portals, it gets a little loose. To the northeast, corrupted heart. Around the protrusion.
through the dry, through the try being corrupted heart. Final corrupted heart. Now warping to Silent Woods Center. to the expansion cove launching like crazy now To the spirit trial. There it is. Out of Quolox Hollow. Finish off two missions, two Quolox Hollow missions. Energy cell fragment. Working back up to Colox Hall Center. Mm -hmm. 
Through Kolak's hollow comments. Kolak's Dan. Now to upper ink water. Stick bridge into the saturated corridor, collecting resilience, not down into the submerged section, collecting garlic gore <sighs> through the submerged section, back up to the blue moss to the right. Energy cell fragment down through the drop through sticks, drop through sticks, to the swing gate lever in the upper right of a corridor bend. Down through the opening below into the corridor to collect the energy cell fragment exposed by the gate opening along the upper corridor in Keystone Loop. Continuing through the sticky blue moss section to the Gorlagora at the upper left on the posterior of the bluff face. Continuing up and left to a combat shrine or combat zone. These enemies are falling quick now with all the accumulated abilities of Ori. Through to collect life pack through the spawn gate. Now through some thorny corridor. Up to spirit light. Down to the pool below. Through the vice trap. Now to the bell codes. One, two, one, three, three. One, two, three, three, one, two, one. To the right, into the right cove, absorbing ancestral lights. 
down the shaft, to shaft bottom, to the midnight burrows, to the meat of the midnight burrows. Launching up over the bluff top to the lower left portal, continuing. To the right terminus of the lower section, lifting the stump. Collecting the keystone. Bash launching around to the upper to the right portal on the posterior face and now up to the upper section through to collect the flector. And to the top, to the entry of Midnight Burrows, collecting gores, or collecting uh, Tok Spirit Light. So that does it for Midnight Burrows and Inkwater Marsh. Now it's to the Hydra Escape subsection of the Wellspring. Collecting the lower right Gorlick Gore and the Spirit Light on this upper level. And then out to the hub. Down the right side of the hub, free falling down the right side of the hub. And into the Grapple subsection, door one. down to collect Thorn, the bottom of the pulsing jet shaft. Now to the sticky blue moss opening. Waiting for map to catch up. Aligning the slotted wheels. Collecting spirit light.
collecting spirit light in the middle pool. Now to the large pool. Collecting a life cell fragment and up to the upper right. Collecting spirit light through the log pallet bridge to the flexible pole to the upper level to the upper right to the descending pole and collecting the last piece of garlic ore and that does it for the wellspring it's 100% complete and now to the glades finish off the glades and then go conquer Shriek. which should be 100% completion. That does it for rebuilding the glades. Now it's into the cave. Equipping flash through a dark corridor. Into the submerged section. Collecting a heart-shaped acorn. Out to the Moki at the entrance to barter for spirit light. Into the darkness completed. Now to the family reunion hut, launching up for spirit light. Over to Twillin, purchase the remaining upgrades. Now up to Mote's hut. Launching for the spirit light. Continuing upwards. Up through the footbridge. Collecting the hammock spirit light. Along the upper corridor, collecting a life cell fragment. Down into the hut below. Launching up to collect spirit light. Down to the branch below, collecting arcing. Into the middle tree with the hollowed out middle tree, collecting a piece of spirit light along the upper surface, collecting bounty to the right down into the right hollowed out tree through the footbridge. Into the fourth dimension the tree, collecting two collectibles, and now over to Thule to finish off the planting projects.
not her near arm. That is her near arm. Planting projects complete. Now into the subterranean section. Collecting life cell fragment over to Lupo's hut. Talking to Lupo twice to finish the silent map quest. Three more pieces of spirit light. And that does it for the Wellspring Blades. Looks like everything's complete, so time to warp to Battle Shriek. Gonna make sure I have all the right shards equipped. I think I do. Skipping a cutscene, and it's on the street. That does it. Hundred percent. Three twelve fifty four. A new record. It's a new record, my personal best. I consider it a truly perfect speedrun. Uh, I had one spirit trial malfunction on me. Three twelve fifty four. That is truly a perfect speedrun. It's undeniable. It's easy. One hundred percent completion. A single stream. One ten minute break allowed. Uh, at around the two hour mark. So that does it.